Hey there, folks. I'm doing a video on Raven. I haven't done it in a while. As you can see, I made her a bear suit. The last one was kind of like, eh. But it kind of broke apart, so I decided to... Yeah, she's in like a coat. She's in kind of like in a robe, except there's a button here that can get her to leave. Get her out of it. Isn't she adorable? The reason why I made it because, well, I made her bear costume because for Halloween. And for other reasons. I'm going to see if I can do my still my yo-yo tricks. As you remember before, I did do a lot of yo-yo tricks in my former video of the Raven. Let me see if I can try to get you guys to look at it. Okay? Let me just see. Do -do 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 do He even still with me. You're around 11 years old. He's still with me when I leave, when I move out. As you can see, most of the stuff is already off. Okay, first spin upwards. Next, twirl. Cockwheel. Front spin, back spin. Yeah, so basically I can still do it. I can still do it. I haven't done this in a while, but through the factors that I've been busy. Yeah, she's like a basketball. And she's still broken proof. One day, I would like to see if I can get this toy nice and sold one day. For now, someday, I will get my dream. I've already done my dreams, many of them actually. Making dolls, making quilts, and I made this masterpiece. Magic up there. And so many other things in this room. You already know the mirror. But this video is about Raven. <laughs> so basically, on November 15th, she'll be 18 years old. And I've already planned to get her a lot of presents for her for her birthday. I mean, come on, she has birthday presents and Christmas gifts coming in. She's my favorite dolly. Raven, my lovely doll, I adore you every day of my life. But like my child, my baby, I wouldn't sell you for a thousand dollars. Oh, Raven, why you are so cute. You are cute, adorable. I love you so, my little doll. Who's the good? Who's the greatest doll around? It's my Raven. It's my Raven. She's amazing, little dolly. She's amazing. And I love her, she's my little angel. She's just the cutest little dolly that I ever made. Even the other day I made her a bunny, a bunny suit too. I'll show you that one day. Her uh, tail fell off, I'll sew it on. Cartwheel. Helicopter spin. Book spin. And now tornado. Tornado. Boingy, boingy, boingy. I know. Twirl over. Things have definitely changed over for years for Raven. As from the first episode, I made of her. Back then she was smaller, had one leg, but now she's like... Well, this is just a costume. 
I love me. I love. I love having her since I was since I was 11 years old. She was my very first creation. I mean, how could anyone not want to keep a beautiful doll like this? She's my baby. But the thing is, I've been having nightmares. Nightmares about losing my raven. Yeah, I've been having nightmares. They've been coming and going for me for days now. It's like they're starting to show up more and more often. Reasons are, theory one is, I have a fear of losing Raven because she's my treasure, my baby, my very first creation I ever made. I mean, when you make something for your very first time, like life or something wonderful, you want to keep it with you forever so that way it doesn't ever want to leave your side. But when it comes to a doll like this, I worked on her. I made her ever since I was 11 years old. My very first creation. Even from today's standards, my family still are pretty much amazed that I made her. Um, my Aunt Mary said to me, you know, I should have taken a lot of pictures of her because I would have liked to see how she grows. Or something like that. The nightmare was simple. I was in a dark, dark hallway, running with Raven in my arms, crying. She was crying in my arms. Don't let him take me! Don't let him take me! And I was like, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't! But it was Chucky, the evil one. As you know, haunted dolls do exist in this world. And he was based on a doll named Robert in Florida. Ironically, that's where I live. We were being chased. And he says, you can't keep Raven away from me. She'll be mine, mine. I keep dreaming about it every single evening, and I don't know why. I don't know why. I want to know. Does anyone know why? Why I keep dreaming about that nightmare? I, I, I don't want my doll to be taken away from me. She's my child, my baby. And to you, she's just a doll, but for me, it's different. She's been with me since I was 11. She's been with me since my development. I mean... It's like taking Tom. It's like taking Jerry from Tom. No Jerry and Tom. No Tom and Jerry. Same thing for if you remove the soup, everything would just be a cluster of crumbs. Same thing for brownies. If you, if you, you know, you know, what I mean. Other nightmares were evil dolls taking control of Raven and making her hurt me. That's my worst fear. Seeing my creation killing me. Seeing one of my creations leaving me. She's my baby. You guys know I've been making dolls since I was 11. And now I make blankets, quilts, pillowcases. Yes, I'm done with pillowcases. I can create anything with my mind as long as I put it together. I even made a quilt from one of my friend's babies, my granddaughters. But yeah, it was a scary dream. Last dream I had of was she was controlled to do something nasty to me. And I don't even want to talk about that dream. But the wasn't the weirdest part. When I woke up with that dream, I dreamt I was... Well, to tell you the truth, I dreamt that Chucky was changing us, but I woke up in another dream. Does that ever happen to you guys? Because it happens to me lots of times. When I woke up... Well, actually, I didn't wake up in my house. I was still asleep in my dream. I woke up in Hogwarts School Witchcraft and Wizardly. As a 12 year old. Yeah, I know. I'm not kidding. I was dreaming that I was being chased by Chucky, and then in the next moment, I wake up, but I, but I was still asleep. And I was in Hogwarts school, which happened literally. And I was getting up ready for classes and all that, and then I was friends with, with Hermione and telling her about the dream and everything. As I've said before, I have dream abilities, and they can be cosmic messages. They can be messages to me. Like, you know what about Chucky chasing after me and Raven? Something's gonna happen, for, something's gonna happen to me and Raven that will separate us. She's like my hambo for Marceline from Adventure Time. She's like my hambo because, oh, she's red. And I have a little bobo. So if you know how if you know how Marceline feels, you know how I feel. So yeah, those yes, the evolution of Raven has been so far she was a small little doll made of all sorts of things. Then as I got older, has two legs now. There are two legs in here. I just wanna do it like that because I make it feel nice and soft. 
So guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and also I thank you all for being so nice. You guys have been giving me a lot of compliments. You guys have been giving me a lot of compliments on my dolls at DA. I appreciate it very much. Believe me. I know you guys say my arts, my drawing is not that good, but how can you not how can you not how can you not see me as a good artist? Well, I just proved it to you. I may not be good at drawing, but so when I can do and quote it. And working on other things. Oh, I already showed you that mirror tonight. <laughs> okay, from Raven and me, we say Doodaloo, my darling. Also, before I leave, my nephew was born! Christopher's baby boy was born a few days ago. And now I gotta wait till I get the address so I can send him the present to the baby. His name is, uh, Tulio. <laughs> it's gonna be an adorable little baby boy when it's born. Also, my sister adopted a puppy. And she's a uh, mini Australian shepherd. Cute little thing. She's not even code. She, guys. Bye, folks. Have a lovely day. Mm -hmm.